And a good Tuesday morning. A lot of fog around the region after uh, somewhat of a wet Monday afternoon. Uh, quite a bit of steady rain and occasionally a few thunderstorms as well, especially south of the Ohio River. Overnight, that rain clearing out, but behind it in its wake, we've got calm winds, humidity running 100% this morning. Dew points are in the upper 60s. Actual temperatures in the upper 60s, and uh, that has led the National Weather Service to issue a dense fog advisory through about uh, 7 a.m. Uh, so the fog will mix out pretty quickly, but here you go. Some of the thickest fog right now being reported out across southeast Missouri near the Ohio River as well. And again, it is patchy, but at times we do have visibility that drops down to less than a half a mile and in some areas even less than a tenth of a mile. So use some caution. Just slow down, allows yourself a little extra time this morning. Now, a lot of you from Mount Vernon, we've got some fog in the distance there, and you can see the added moisture in the sky. Uh, 67 degrees currently, winds are calm, and once again, that dew point has come up into the upper 60s, just a result of all the rain yesterday. This afternoon, we do expect uh, quite a bit of dry time around. Not everybody is going to get wet today, but there are going to be uh, some hit and miss showers and storms likely developing, especially during the heat of the afternoon. Today, a somewhat warm, humid day, high temperatures into the the mid 80s and then more storms also possible on Wednesday. Now there is some question and uncertainty on how many storms we'll see on Wednesday, but another front will make its way through and that clears things out for Thursday. Thursday, a nice day, a lot of sunshine expected and more wet weather likely by the end of the week. Uh, this morning, a cold front to our north. It's actually going to drop into the region, so uh, winds this morning to start will be out of the west and southwest. We'll turn more towards the northwest this afternoon. Complex of storms making its way through parts of Kansas is going to stay to our south and likely track just to our south and west as we head into the late morning, early afternoon hours. But notice at 7 a.m., uh, we are still into the upper 60s, but then by lunchtime, we're into the upper 70s and lower 80s. That cold front cutting in from the north. Again, winds will turn out of the north and west. West and near that boundary, we may see a few showers and storms develop uh, this afternoon and even into the early evening hours. This model may be a little overdone in the amount of those, but we'll clear things out overnight tonight. And then we look ahead to Wednesday morning. Uh, again, a lot of questions. These uh, complexes of storms are notoriously difficult to forecast, but uh, get ready. There is a chance we could see a complex of storms move in first thing Wednesday morning, and then a few more redeveloping during the heat of the afternoon once again and into the early evening hours. Uh, much like what we saw yesterday, can't rule out an isolated strong storm or two. Storm Prediction Center putting much of our area in a level one. Level two starts to creep into the northwest Tennessee and the Missouri boot heel. We look ahead to tomorrow and once again, Storm Prediction Center keeps us in a level one. The other concern uh, with any storms that do develop is the potential for very heavy rain. We saw some areas yesterday pick up more than an inch and a half of rain, others picking up less than a tenth of an inch. So it is summertime thunderstorms that we'll be tracking once again today and likely again tomorrow. So make sure you've got that storm track three app. Of course, staying up to date with the forecast Thursday, a dry day, more wet weather in store for us on Friday. That's actually a pretty strong cold front there. Temperatures on Friday, upper 70s with the clouds, with the rain around Saturday, a pretty nice day though. We'll start off in the upper 50s afternoon highs in the upper 70s, low 80s return on Sunday and then things really start to warm up. Monday we're in the mid 80s and then next week temperatures creeping into at least the lower 90s. All right. Thanks for that, Nick.